Hi, this is Miguel Tamayo for ADSR. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel for regular tutorials. In this tutorial, I will show you how to create a baseline using a drum pattern. The drum pattern will be routed into a vocoder to create our bass. I will be using four different tracks and three sends. First, we need to create a drum bus. We will need to route these to the drum bus, route to this track only. The drum bus will be sidechained into a modifier. We need a track for our carrier and a track for our vocoder. We will be using Vocodex. Now we will sidechain the drum bus to the modifier. We will need to sidechain the modifier to the vocoder. We will need to sidechain the carrier to the vocoder. The modifier and the carrier do not need to be routed to the master channel. Now we need to get our three sends. We will use the FL send on the drum bus. The modifier. and the carrier. Pattern one is our drums. On a second pattern will be our bass. Make sure song mode is enabled. We use a 3x oscillator for our carrier. I'll make something basic. Now since the bass channel is going to be our carrier, We'll go ahead and rename this. This also needs to be routed to the carrier. So we will put that on track 10 since the carrier is on track 10. Now, before we begin, we need to make sure that our modifier and our carrier are routed correctly in the vocoder. The modifier is automatically routed into the vocoder. Now for the carrier, it's our second signal. So we put it on two. This modifier pass through level, we'll turn it all the way down. We don't need anything passing through. Let's take a listen. Let's take a listen without the drums. Sounds pretty good. Let's go ahead and play with the knobs a little bit. The hold knob will define the peak duration. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. Sounds a little robotic. Now your attack and release are just like any other attack and release. You have some extra knobs here to smooth them out or to make them a little more rougher. It's your personal preference if you wanna use these or not. A long attack will be a little bit more smoother, but I preferably like to use a quicker attack. Then you have the release. I use a shorter release. Now you have the bandwidth. 
This will define some of the harmonics. As you can see, the frequency bands are a little slim. If you notice in the articulation envelope, in the high end area, you will see some bright pink bands. I'm gonna cut some of those out. I'm also gonna beef it up a little bit in the low end. Now to give us some more interesting frequencies, we will use the bandwidth multiplier. Left will make it sound a little bit more raspier and by turning it right, it'll sound more dull. Let's start with raspy. I like it a little dull. Now the pitch shifter, if you don't know your genders, the one on the left, this is male, the one on the right is female. I want it to sound a little more masculine since it's bass, I want it to be a little more pumped up. And if you want a unison effect, you can add extra voices. Let's go with four. Now you have four order options. Two is the default. It sounds the best in my opinion. Let's take a look at them. There's so much you could do with this. You could put a reverb on the modifier. You could put a gross beat on the carrier. You can EQ these three tracks. Let me show you an example. Okay. The frequency bands are coming from the modifier, but they're being outputted by the carrier. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a gross beat on the modifier. We're just gonna make the signal pump. I turn the drum bus off and I turn the carrier off. This is the signal from the modifier that's being pumped through with the gross beat. Let's see how the signal changes when I change the gross beat slot. Now let's listen to it with the carrier. There's so many possibilities creating instruments with vocoders, using drums or other instruments, even your voice. Thank you for watching. <laughs>